going on, y'all? This is Kevin Robinson Jr. This is my channel. I am in my computer right now. You dig? Thank you for tapping in. I'm in the mezzanine of my building. You feel me? If you find any value here with this video, make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that good shit. I would gratefully appreciate it. Y'all seen the topic, man. We're going to get a swig of this water first. We're going to get right into the game. This shit. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna show y'all how I make anywhere from twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month off using call tools. Now, call tools is an automated dialer that allows you to cold call businesses or consumers of any kind. So whether your business is B two B, business to business, which is what I do with Pacific Vending, it's B2B. Pacific Vending, so we do in the greater Los Angeles area. I uh, have ATM machines and I have vending machines, okay? So in the greater Los, greater Los Angeles area, I have over 17 different locations. Um, the reason why I do ATMs and vending machines is because a lot of places don't just want vending machines. A lot of places, you're more likely to call a small business that wants an ATM machine before they want a vending machine. So what I do is I put my ATMs and I put my vending machines in these locations. Um, I've done a whole video on vending that y'all can go tap in with. Um, I talk about it was the ultimate vending blueprint. This one more or less is going to be about how I get my leads by using call tools. So like I said, this is how I make anywhere from 20 to $30,000 in a month by cold calling through call tools. You feel me? So we're gonna get into it right now. Let's see. All right, call tools, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna go out. This is call tools. Like I said, it's the automated dialer. So if you do any type of business where wholesale, real estate wholesale, right? So I own a business called Pacific Home Buyers. You own a business where you're doing cold calling, where you're calling cold calling businesses or consumers, B2B or B2C, you need to have an automated dialer with an integrated CRM, just like call tools. You can do text messages, um, you know, you can upload your leads, uh, you know, whether you have voicemails or not, recent calls, it keeps track of all of this and it has disposition. So when you get off of a call, you can put, you know, whether you got an appointment, whether they don't or whatever. So as you see, it sets it up by the campaign. So I have 20 different campaigns. I have apartments. Architecture, you guys can see all of them, right? So I already use call tools for cold calling uh, real estate leads. I wanted to open up a separate account specifically Pacific, for Pacific Vending um, just to see how clean it would work. And we've been using this for the last uh, four months. And like I said, um, a lot of people that work in vending what they'll do is they'll just cold call using their phone, you know, just they'll go on. Um, and I did this in my first, I think in my first video or my last video I did on Ultimate Vending, I didn't have call tools for Pacific Vending. So all I would do is I'd be like, I'm going to go to the yellowpages.com. And from there, I'm going to copy and paste that number and give them a call in my Google Voice. You can do that, but if you want it to be a lot more integrated and smooth, it's better that you have it by the campaign like this, okay? Um, so like you see, I got 20 different types of businesses, all right? Um, I actually want to add some more, but this is what I have right now. The reason, like I said before, the reason why I don't just do vending machines, I do ATMs because a lot of businesses and a lot of places, like all of these places want an ATM, every single one of these. But all of these might not want a vending machine. So I've tested with 
architecture firms. I've tested with employee agencies. Um, I did some testing with medical, medical clinics and dentist offices and optometrists. They don't do so well for vending machines. But for ATM machines, that's completely different. You know what I mean? Everybody, every business wants an ATM machine for the most part. So, but yeah, basically what I do, and I'm going to give you guys a chance to see a live call. Um, this is what I do to try to, um, or this is what I do to make 20000 to 30000 a month. And I will sit here and dial on the dialer anywhere from two to three hours a day. And generally, within two hours, I can get at least two appointments. So let's try it. Oh, I've seen if uh, I could talk to a manager, please. I'll see if I could talk to a manager, please. Are you the manager? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I, I, so I was calling to see if you guys might want to get a free ATM, ATM machine or a free vending machine for your business. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, okay, so you said you'll want a machine in about a week? Oh, you're, oh, you're under repair right now. Okay. Okay, uh, wh what's your name, man, if you don't mind me asking? Look, okay. Okay, you said I should call in about a week when you guys are done? Okay, all right. Okay, so this, this is a good lead. This is a good lead. So I'm making a note. You said call. I know his accent was really strong. Um, I'm going to call him in a week. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So this is a disposition right here. Uh, callback schedule. And that's all you do. But, um, yeah, this is what I do. So I am going to add that to my calendar. All right, and uh, got a lot of emails. But yeah, from what I understand, this accent, he sounded like he said call in a week. So I will call next Monday and uh, see if they're see, vending call back. Let's see, pack vend follow. Up. All right. More options. So we're going to call him not all day. We're going to give him a call at, let's say, 11, 11 o'clock next week. That's about 15. Um, notification. And then we're going to add that right there. Manchester, that's shit. That's South Central. So I have a lot of my best. Um, let's see what that motel looks like. I have my best um, vending and ATM clients that are in the hood. Corona Motel. So yeah, that's a little hood spot. 
y'all can see. Yeah, that's the hood for real. That's the hood for real. But I'm telling y'all, I have my best clientele in the hood. You know what I mean? Like most of my clients for vending are in the hood. Oh yeah. Yeah, little hood spot. He said they redoing it. Yeah, so I'm gonna call him on Monday. Yep, that's gone. There you go, right there. First call, you feel me? So, yeah, we're gonna add that. We're gonna call him. I don't remember dude's name, his name. Mm. <laughs> you did? I don't remember. But we're gonna call him me. You feel me? All right. So that's one. So basically, man, you know, y'all see, I use call tools to call my leads. And um, you're going to go through a lot of no's. You're going to get a lot of people saying no. But if you call call vending leads, uh, I'm not going to tell you that, you know, your success level is going to be like mine. I'm not going to tell you that. You might not. Your success level, you might have to cold call four or five hours a day. But when it comes to me cold calling, for vending machines and ATM machines, I generally, not just me, but my boy Khalil, Khalil's friend, we're all able to get a vending contract or for ATMs. And these are the three things we do. Ice machines for hotels and motels, vending machines, and ATM machines. So if you're able to Cold call those three things and say, hey, and you see me. I said, um, you always ask for the manager and you say, um, I'm just calling to see if you guys might want to get a free vending machine, a free ATM machine, or a free ice maker. I didn't say the ice maker in this one, but generally when you say those three things and you're cold calling um, hotels and motels, you'll do pretty well. Anywhere people are sleeping, other I would say hotels, motels, maybe even retirement homes. You can say ice maker too. But yeah, that's how I make twenty to thirty thousand dollars a month. And the way how I do, like I said, like I told y'all before, at a really good location with a with a vending machine, you can make anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars per machine net. Um, say for instance, you have two machines, um, two machines in one location, you know. And what I like to do is I like to have uh, I like to try to get an ATM machine as well as two vending machines. The best location you're going to be able to get two vending machines, an ATM machine, and an ice machine in the same location. Now, ice machine, they make all right money. They don't make the greatest money, but they make okay money. So with the vending machine in a motel, specifically, you have the snack machine, the soda machine that can make you anywhere, like I said, from 500 to a thousand dollars a month. Um, on top of the ATM machine, um, you know, with the surcharge, you're gonna make, like I said, anywhere from sixty to ninety dollars a day times thirty. You feel me? You can make some good money. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, that's and I literally when I do this, when I cold call, if I literally cold call every single day, five times a week. It's August 1st right now. And I do this shit every single workday through the week. I can guarantee you that I'm going to make 20 to 30 minutes. Easy. This month. Because in one location with two good vending machines, I can make two. You feel me? Not including 18. You know what I'm saying? So at a great location with an ATM machine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, $60 a day times 30, that's 1800 you feel me, per month, plus vending machines, you know what I'm saying, that's another $2,000 a month, so that's 3800 you feel me, per machine, a 3800 for the location, and say you get four or five locations like that in a month, right. five locations like that for the month, you know, five or six locations for that for the month. He made 20 bands. He did. But that was it. Peace and love.